All right. So hello everyone. I'm Nathan GDQuest. Uh, I make tutorials dedicated to game creation with open source technologies. Until now, I've been working on dozens of videos dedicated to game art, mostly. My idea at first was to cover the gaps that uh, exist on the internet when it comes to learning game art related techniques, things called concepts like how you design a sprite, how you think about the, the character design specifically for game art, but also how you cut your objects, ideally how you import them in a game engine, what resolution you should use, the kind of questions that lack answers on the internet. I've been working with the Krita developers in the past and I make a crowdfunding campaign that allowed me to start a company. And the idea is to have a company uh, for the sake of you know working full time on that. Uh, so that's, I mean, you need money, you need the, the funds to contribute back to open source projects. Ideally, you want to be working full time on this. The main value this has is communication. So videos on YouTube rank in the search engine, both on Google and the YouTube search engine. And the main advantage they have is in terms of views, they keep getting them over time. They might rank as well for requests like how to make a game, for example, in the case of the Godot game engine. They might rank alongside Unity or other engines over time. The goal is to manage to get there, to get a team and to both you know make a living of that and try to help open source projects back as well um we discussed with remy the possibility of making a crowdfunding campaign for godot to create a tutorial series about game creation to provide high quality material for people willing to learn game creation with the engine now um just like with Razvan, the thing I'd like to ask you is um, to give me feedback on the video. Same thing. I've made one first Godot tutorial series. I got started a few weeks ago and it just covers the creation of a platform game. It's something very basic. Um, and the idea is that I'd like to know what type of game uh, you want me to make. You know, what type of project you think would be interesting for the users, um, what, you know, type of content would be interesting for the training. So we, we already discussed that, but I'm going to put up a form to get uh, quantitative feedback. And from you, I'd like qualitative feedback. If any of you can look at the video, just tell me, you know, break them down, tear them apart, tell me I'm worthless and they are horrible. Mm -hmm. no, but I'd like to know what should change as far as the tone is concerned, as far as the content, what's missing from them, and all that to create better training in the future. Um, yeah, I hadn't prepared anything for the presentation, so as you can hear. Um, same thing for the crowdfunding campaign. The idea is to make a lot of Godot related tutorials during the campaign for free. So it's not just paid content. Uh, I want to make the first Godot training product, video training product. But at the same time, uh, I'll be you know, issuing votes every day. There will be polls for people to request tutorials during the campaign. And every day there will be a new tutorial. That's the idea. So yeah, any questions? That's actually, that's why I didn't want to record this more of an interactive thing. So uh, with everyday tutorials, you're, that's obviously going to be a lot of work and uh, the things that you're going to tackle are going to be very specific, right? So how, I mean, how do you see this working? Because there are going to be like very small snippets that might or might not be understandable in a project, in a big project. How can you integrate that with a big project? So I'm a game designer first and foremost, and the idea is to cover concepts, not necessarily to detail the implementation every time, but to answer um, the types of questions I get, because I get, <coughs> 
um, some students, some beginners, I get all kinds of questions and I notice that a lot of people want to know how to implement or how to tackle, how you would go about making such a mechanic in general. So the idea is to show from a game designer's point of view how the mechanic might work, how we can think about it and one potential implementation but you can just provide the source code um, expect people to read it and just comment on it to guide them through the logic basically. Um, each video is not going to be a fully fledged project, that's the idea. Um, it's also a means of communication, so the goal for me is to provide you know, some answers but also some exciting videos. That's another thing uh, with my job, I want to do education but at the same time contribute to the project to help with their communication, to help bring new users to the engine, and that mostly works through, you know, excitement. That's not something I like necessarily, but that's how it works. Yeah. Any other questions or suggestions or comments? <laughs> no one? Um, just... Um, so, because you're a game designer and you you say your videos are going to uh, go in, well, not necessarily in depth, but more about the implementation of the mechanic, how, how it is designed, what, what's involved. Um, but, like, I really like Kudo from a, a, a programmatic kind of way. Like, it's very modular, you can go as in depth as you want, whatever. Um, so, won't your tutorials, like, be very. Um, targeted at aspiring designers but not programmers or because um, I think that's like when I look around I think most of us are programmers or kind of in this world um, yeah won't your tutorials also um, mm, ah, tag, no um, no not cover um, target. yeah targeted <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, so, won't your tutorials also cover, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's beer speaking. <laughs> um, won't they target uh, the kind of tutorials you're making? How are you going to try to be broader when you notice like, okay, um, I've got enough interest from that kind of people or I don't know. Um, the main thing is, I'm not an experienced developer, so in order to offer resources targeted at developers, I'd need to be working with, you know, someone who's been in the industry, who's specialized enough and knows the engine well enough to do that. Uh, that's a problem right now, for one, I don't have the funds, and second, I don't know anyone who can do it right now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it will come eventually. Um, Focusing on the design, it doesn't mean it's completely uninteresting for developers. Think about, yeah, um, for you guys who are experienced, you know, most likely as far as the implementation is concerned, it's not going to be too interesting. The designer's standpoint, however, has value in the sense of um, it's not the same logic as the developer has. You think about really the mechanic first, the um, making it enjoyable for the player and uh, the interactions and all that stuff and then the code is really secondary the patterns and all that stuff um, are just here to serve the purpose of the gameplay you see that when you work in a team as a developer with a designer you have to kind of translate to find ways to communicate because you don't break down the ideas the same way a developer is much more likely to think about the details of the system how, and what you can do kind of with the engine. Um, I'm going to try to make it as interesting as possible but with a focus on the mechanics. Um, as far as the programming part is concerned I'll be coming you know back to the community basically to ask for feedback, to ask for uh, code reviews before I release the videos. That's how I intend to make it um, interesting. Anyway, working alone, I even if I was a developer, I think that working alone I would make mistakes 
because there are lots of very interesting and powerful concepts in Godot that are flexible. Yeah. The way you can arrange scenes and all, you can do kind of your own cuisine. So the thing is, you need peer reviews, you know, to But I also really think explain. there's like mechanics that are more... I also think there are mechanics that are more interesting to highlight in Godot. Like things the engine part, uh, specifically um, high, uh, yeah, is uh, proficient with, efficient with implementing. Uh, so I think it would be because Hudo is community projects, and I imagine your videos are as yeah they are as well because you're asking the peer reviews. But it it might also be interesting to, um, like you say uh, from your Kickstarter backers, like they can uh, place comments with tutorial IDs. But it could also be interesting to really filter those on how useful, how to make it interesting for programmers as well, to filter them on how their implementation in Hudo actually uh, highlights the engine and not just the mechanic. Yeah, but yeah, I think the question is uh, ended. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I understand the, the concern. For me, uh, the main thing, I, First, when I design a tutorial, I look at the documentation. That's the first place I go to. And the documentation tries to highlight the at least the higher level concepts, you know, like things like signals and um, the node tree system and the scenes. Yeah. So these anyway, I'm going to cover and I read up on, you know, naturally. Um, now it's mostly, I think in the end, it will probably end up being higher level stuff, yeah. you know, simply because that's where my skills are at the moment. Uh, it's also relevant to start with. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing also. I'm going to be probably targeting intermediate users, not experienced developers, but people who want to make games, who might have experience with other engines, for example, and might want to discover Godot. Um, as well, because it's you know, if you want to do a crowdfunding campaign and you need to make a living of that, you need to um, not necessarily target everyone, but you have to reach out to an audience that's broad enough so that it can work. But I think, yeah. I think like your art is, is really cool and I think it's very exciting, exciting to actually watch the videos because when I would make a tutorial and I'd say the same things, but I'd make different art, my art, I think it would have like... 32 <laughs> views instead of 1,320. <laughs> so I think uh, that will really uh, help the tutorials as well. Mm. So, yeah. I think it's a really cool project. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, some things. But yeah, just like a community <laughs> tutorials would be like really cool. Uh, the thing is, um, in practice, I'd, I'd really like to get to more advanced things. Ideally, I'd want to target um, slightly more professional users. The thing is, the time it takes to make those kinds of resources and uh, the perspectives that you have, you know, making a living, there are not enough good at users for, for now to do that. You can make very advanced maybe tutorials for Unreal or something like that because you have lots of companies working with them and lots of specialists and companies which have money and specialists that, that might be interested in those concepts and you have enough of them, more importantly. With Godot, it's not the case yet, I, I think. Mm. Any questions? No? Nothing? Thank you.